What's up everybody, this is Travis Young with Travis Young Photography and this is my review of the Alien B B1600 flash unit. Um, coming from a world of just speed lights, I've never really messed around with monoblocks, I didn't really know too much about it and the Alien B has always uh, caught my eye. Um, looking for some videos on YouTube, I didn't find too much so I just kind of want to make this video to kind of give it some more coverage and to help you guys familiarize yourself with the control panel and just how strong this, this unit really is. Um, hopefully this will help you guys out and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, what I want to do in this video is basically show you and help you get familiar with the control panel on the back and uh, even just the, the flash unit itself. And then I want to take this outside and take a couple of test shots to show you what kind of light that it's putting out and how well it stacks up against direct sunlight. Um, it's probably like 2 o'clock right now. I'll probably be outside at 3 o'clock um, shooting just in direct sunlight, harsh, harsh, harsh conditions um, just to show you how well it actually works. And uh, coming from a world of just speed lights, uh, shooting in direct sunlight around the hours of you know noon to 5 is very very dangerous unless you have some shade so we'll see how that stacks up but first um, I will sh let's uh, let's get to the control panel and the unit itself this is the front of the alien B model block uh, this ring right here is a standard reflector that comes with most uh, alien B units this light in the middle is the modeling lamp and the, the lamp around it is the actual flash um, if you turn to the side here this is the basically what it looks like on the side. Um, I chose a lime green model that also comes in a, in a variety of different colors. Um, this outside housing is actually made of a high impact uh, Lexon polycarbonate, which is basically the same material that uh, they use to make bulletproof glass out of. So I mean, this is high impact stuff, and uh, the insides are going to be fairly protected. This is the control panel of the Alien B, and I'm a little bit so you can see what's going on. This is the power slider, so I can choose, um, you know, obviously what power I want to shoot on, quarter power, half power, um, one thirty second all the way to full power. Um, obviously, you have your sync cords um, and your remote cord, and then uh, this basically. I'll turn this on real quick. This on button right here is to indicate the modeling lamp. Basically, um, if I turn this on or off, it basically just show you this. So I'm going to choose to turn this on or off. It's just a modeling lamp. It usually helps at night. Um, so you can kind of track them where you're going so you're not shooting in complete darkness. Um, this next button is track. And basically what that does is it's, it acts as like a dimmer. Um, it'll track uh, if I'm at 1 8th power the modeling lamp will kind of just kind of dim down. If I turn it off, it'll just be on full power all the time. So do that. It'll just be on full power regardless of what power I choose. Um, I'll just go ahead and turn this off. Next button I'm going to be talking about is the cycle button. Basically, if you have the cycle button on, um, all that does is turns off the modeling lamp before the flash goes off. So the modeling lamp will go off flash will go and then the modeling lamp will cycle back on. That's basically all that does. Um, this green light right here is basically the indication of whenever it's done recycling, whenever the model block is done recycling and you can fire again. Um, this red, uh, this light right here will basically turn red if I use from a higher to lower. So basically what that's saying is that there's too much power pent up in the model block you kind of have to get rid of it so all you have to do is just dump it and everything will be all right um, if you don't dump then basically the power that was pent up is basically going to be um, shot off to your next shot so instead of shooting at you know 1 16th power you might actually be shooting at 1 4th if you don't dump it um, so that's basically all that is Bing! In the front of this unit, you can see a little a little spot that you can actually stick your umbrella in. You just st stick it through the reflector here, and it'll pop out here, and just kind of squeeze in here. You can see a little divot that will just fit your umbrella, and then you can just tighten it with this knob right here. 
with these two buttons right here, you can just squeeze together and it'll just detach your reflector here. And uh, this also helps with attaching, you know, soft boxes or mono box, or I'm sorry, soft boxes or octa boxes. Um, so basically, that's all that does. Now, hopefully, that you're familiar with the control panel, uh, let's take this thing outside and see how well this actually does in direct sunlight. As you can see, this is my uh, kind of light setup going on. This is my Nikon D300. Um, it's set at f22 at 1 25th of a second. I'm using my 10.5 uh, uh, millimeter fisheye. Uh, my alien B obviously is just camera right, a little bit high. Uh, bare bulb set at full power. Um, should, be, should be pretty interesting. The sun is directly above me. As you can see, I'm, I'm wincing. It's pretty, pretty, pretty bright outside. But uh, we'll just shoot this and see how well it does direct sunlight. As you can see, as you can see from the photo, this Alien B unit is definitely strong enough to overpower the sun. And that's just ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. The light's a little harsh, but with, you know, with just some kind of modifier, um, definitely soften that up and still still overpower the sun so that's my video i hope you enjoyed my first look at the alien bee um, happy shootings <laughs>